Hi, today you will learn how to set up Google Auth login in Superbase. So in order to do this, you'll have to ensure that Docker is installed and running, then install the Superbase CLI on your PC. So after ensuring this, you'll have to initialize a Superbase local project. So on Superbase, simply navigate to project root and run this command that is Superbase init. Then create a config.tuml file, start the Superbase project by tapping in this. Note that the first run may take time to download images and running containers. Now you will get an output that will look something like this. Then you'll have to configure environment variables. So store the API URL and anon key in your .env.local file. Then set up a Google Cloud project. So create a new project in your Google Cloud console. So simply navigate to cloud.google.com, click on OAuth consent screen and here simply click on get started. Now choose the app info, enter your app name, your user support email, then click next. Enter audience, contact info, finish and click create. After you do this, you'll have to simply set up a Google Cloud project. So create a new project in Google Cloud Console, go to API and services, navigate to OAuth consent screen, fill in the required fields, set up the user type to external, then go to clients tab and create an OAuth client. Application type should be web application and JavaScript origins can be left empty. Add two redirect URIs just like this. Now go to data access tab, click on add or remove scopes, select following scopes, usually the first three and click save. Then go to the OAuth client and copy the client ID and client secret to a new env file in your project root. Then add the following lines to your .env file. Now after you do this, you'll have to basically update the Superbase config. So open config.tuml and search for the auth.external section. You should see a section that will look something like this. Here, you'll have to duplicate the code and change this section name to auth.external.google and update the values just like this. Set enable to true and skip nonce check to true. Set client ID and secret to environment variables you created in the .env file and set redirect URI to this one. That is the same as the one you added in Google Cloud project. Now search for site URL under the auth section and set it to this. Now restart Superbase. So after updating the config, restart Superbase by tapping in Superbase stop and Superbase start. So you can use the Next.js repository to test the Google sign-in and you can find the repository on github.com's page. Then you'll have to update the config.tml file with Google Auth settings, restart Superbase after changes and ensure redirect URIs are correctly configured. And after you do this, you'll have successfully set up Google Auth login in Superbase. If you found this guide helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.